TJ here for a Saturday segment here at the Michigan Conservative Roundtable. Just a quick shout out to uh, all our subscribers, to the new ones, and thanks to the old ones for being there with us. So let's talk about a little personal hygiene in the fiscal sense. Think of it as a type of money laundering. Most everyone knows that money laundering is a type of criminal activity. Gangs or organized crime uh, will make income through a variety of illicit means, selling drugs, gambling, uh, high, obscene high interest loans, loan sharking, or even perhaps uh, prostitution. Given today's banking laws, uh, it's not very possible for, for them to walk into the bank and make a deposit into their checking account, nor are they able to purchase high dollar items since large expenditures most likely will be reported to the IRS. The solution? You launder the dirty money. Dirty money, if laundered properly, would be funneled to a third party and come out squeaky clean, pure as the wind-driven snow. Obviously, this is done to mask criminal activity, hide the income as in tax evasion, or perhaps keep secret the origin of the income. Aside from the gangster type of money laundering, I have a couple other examples of what money laundering might look like. Back when Obama was president, GM got a huge bailout from the government. So much so that if you recall, GM would be sarcastically referred to as government motors. That kept the union rank and file from being uh, laid off, kept them employed, meaning they stayed on the job, meaning they got paid, meaning they paid their union dues, meaning that a percentage of their union dues got recycled right back into the Democrat Party. Perhaps that's a stretch, but I always viewed it as a type of money laundering. Here's another example. The son of a high-ranking politician takes a job overseas, make an obscene amount of money. It's the type of job you normally just don't come by uh, and get that type of wage. This income goes into, say, a type of slush fund for the entire family to benefit. Perhaps a, per perhaps a percentage of that income goes directly to the very parent that holds a high-ranking political office. The fact that the money was transferred from one family member to another may not be a crime, but that parent in high political office may not want to be seen on an overseas payroll, especially while in office. So what might be perceived as dirty money from an overseas source is cleansed through the family slush fund so as to avoid the appearance of impropriety. Yeah, this is just a generalization of a scenario which is certain to contain greater intricacies. But money laundering is money laundering. It doesn't matter if it's organized crime or if it's some family of, say, a vice president. And the way the deep state just gives it a pass. Sometimes I wonder if this country shouldn't just melt down, but then we all would suffer for it. The hypocrisy and gall of the Democrats to accuse President Trump of somehow being compromised when considering the Biden family slush fund. Mack has said in a previous video that the Democrats project unto others the very acts they themselves are guilty of. You can think of this money laundering scheme of the Biden family as an example. These are just the perceptions of an average old white dude. And as, I, and as I've heard way too many times in my life, Perception is reality, not that I would agree with it. In any event, as always, be safe, watch your six, and don't tread on me.